What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can upgrade or replace your hard drive in your PlayStation 4. Now the first thing I want to mention is it's way easier to get an external hard drive which just sets next to your uh, PlayStation 4 here. It'll plug into your PlayStation 4 for the USB and then it also has to be plugged into a power outlet as well. That usually gets you anywhere from 1 to 6 terabytes extra or more depending on uh, which one you do pick up, but a lot of people do opt in for the internal hard drive, which I'm going to be showing you guys on my slim PlayStation 4 as well. Now this can be done on the original, the slim, which I'm going to be showing you on, and also the PlayStation 4 Pro as well. So for the slim here, there is a spot over here where you can see that is where the hard drive is. So to do this, all I'm going to do is with pressure on this, you're just going to push it out. Actually, I apologize, I'm putting it the wrong way. It has to go this way. So doing that, that is the only bracket for the PlayStation 4 Slim. Now what you're going to want to do is remove this screw here. This holds the hard drive in place and just like that the screw is out it does have the PlayStation symbols on it so it's a very unique one to the console now with that screw removed you now have access to the hard drive and the hard drive bracket in here there is this little tab here you just grab onto and pull and that will take out the PlayStation 4 hard drive. And just like that, your hard drive is already out. So here is the brackets and the hard drive is right here. So usually whenever you buy a new hard drive, you have to reuse the brackets from the old one here. So to do that, you would have to take the four screws out here on the sides and you will leave in the rubber kind of gaskets in between you'll take out the hard drive you'll put your new one in you'll put the screws back in and it's ready to go so once you guys have your new hard drive installed onto the bracket here it's a matter of putting it back in the PlayStation 4 here so again you're gonna slowly push it in the same way as you pulled it out and you're gonna make sure it goes all the way in. Just like that, it is back as far as it can go. You're gonna to want to make sure you put it all the way in, otherwise your PS4 could run into other problems. You can push it far back as it will go. Now you're gonna put this screw back in before you put the cover back on. Then you are going to simply put the cover back on. So again, the same way as you took it off, you're just going to have it kind of off to the side and you're just going to push it in and it literally just goes flush like that. Now if you have the original one, there is the section on the side here. You just take the cover off and same thing, you're just going to remove the screw and pull out the hard drive. The uh, Pro is very similar as well. So that is only part of the install is actually putting the hard drive in the PlayStation 4. The next thing you have to do is put the system software on to the hard drive. So to do this, you're going to have to go onto a computer. You're going to download the system software from the PlayStation's website onto a USB flash drive with at least one gigabyte in free space. Then you're going to put it on to the PlayStation 4 here. To do this, with the flash drive open on your computer, you're going to create a folder on the flash drive named PS4. Inside that folder, you're going to create another folder named updates, all in caps. You're going to download the file on the PlayStation website and you're going to save it in the update folder. Then you're going to connect the flash drive to the PS4. You're going to start the PlayStation 4 in safe mode. You're going to select option 3, which is update system software. You're going to select update from USB storage and then select OK. And then you're going to let it transfer the software updates from your flash drive onto PlayStation 4. If you do not do this step, you will not be able to use your PlayStation 4. It is really easy to use, but again, you do have to on your flash drive, make a folder called PS4, all caps. Inside that folder, make another folder called updates, all caps, and save the file into that, then connect it to the PS4 and it should work as easy as that. But that is how you update or replace the hard drive in your PlayStation 4, honestly, in my recommendation and what I use for my PlayStation 4, I even use it on my PS5 now, 
is to simply get an external hard drive for it. It's way easier and you don't even have to open up or do anything like that. You just connect the external hard drive to it, you turn it on and usually it will recognize and format itself rather than you having to download and update onto a flash drive. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll leave this here. Please take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.